Hello everyone, and welcome back to Scholar of the First Sin. So, we left off just getting here, and this is a less than friendly area. I'm not a fan of this place, I don't think that I ever will be, but we have to deal with it. So, uh, we don't need this on. We need the bracing knuckle ring on. Yep, that's pretty much going to sum up our experience with this area, though. Trying to dodge, and... Really, I got both in one. Well, that's strange. The other one's not even on fire. Is it just too close? How odd. How odd indeed. I'm gonna light a torch. Lighting a torch will be beneficial. That way we can see what we're doing. Also, do I have poison arrows? I do have some. Good. Was that there before? Ah, this is the other way to get to it. Okay. Why am I... Oh, right, I was doing PvP, and that's why those are all off. That's why they're all missing in action. Oh, hey, Luke, a deal. Alright, well, I, I swear I broke that one, but okay. Ugh, these stupid poison shooting statues. So annoying. Gotta be careful with that attack that they do. You can actually get flung off the edge by it. It's pretty silly. Okay, that's that. That's not where I thought we were at. I need a thingamajig. Flame butterfly. That's where we're going. Alright. Ah, wonderful getting invaded down here. This is going to be unpleasant. Where is he going to come from? That's the question.
Well, the giants know I'm here. So that's kind of annoying. Doesn't appear as though that NPC is going to come at me. I never put on my poison arrows. All right, we got one giant. Hopefully that one dies. I don't think that one poison session will be enough though. No, wasn't enough. That should do it, though. Okay, we got one down. Now we just need to get the other. There you are. Whew, that was a tad bit close. All right, we got the key. Now let's turn back on our flame butterfly. Let's turn back on our torch. And tread carefully because there's an NPC wandering around, plotting our demise, plotting our downfall. He's gonna show up at the worst possible time too. I know that much. Hey, we got a petrified dragon bone. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. That's what we need. That's where we came from. I'm not making that jump. I don't think that's worth it. I don't care that much for whatever that item is. I can't remember what that item is, so it's probably nothing important. Hello, friend. Okay, let's see. Can I aim that well enough? No, I can't. So close to poisoning you. Really? This dude's got a lot of poison resist. Seriously. What an unpleasant fellow he is. Oh my god. I think this dude is just unable to be poisoned. Because he should be poisoned by now. But, now. 
I mean, I'm okay cheesing him. Let's put on our normal, our normal arrows. And go about it that way. If you would cooperate, that is. <sighs> really, buddy? He's probably healing up, too, because he probably can do that. Alright, well, let's just run over to the bonfire, then. Really? I really would throw one of those right there. They don't like speedrun strats. They truly do not appear to like speedrun strats at all. God. How awful. Just to access a bonfire, I need to use a fragrant branch of yore. FromSoft, what are you doing? What are you doing, FromSoft? All right, Lucatil. Come on over to me. You can make it. Let's fight the boss and get out of this place. Let's be done with it. Oh, I missed his arm. Oh boy. I just got smacked pretty good. Way to miss. Nah, I don't, I don't think so. Not today. Lucatil almost got dead, though. That's unusual. She usually is more tanky than that. I find that strange. Alright, let's get out of here, though. We are done with this area. We got everything that we needed. We got what we came for. We can move on and never come back. And that makes me happy. Although we will have to run through quick, quick to get to the DLC, of course, eventually. Once we actually find the keys for those, that is... So now I do believe that we've summoned Lucatil for all of the required boss fights. She's been with us for all three. 
So, as such, that means we'll get her sword and such when it's time. And that's good. That's very good. So now we need to make our way towards the Duke's dear Freya. Throw a level into that. I don't know why I didn't throw any more levels into anything. <laughs> Health, I suppose, is what's next. Gotta get that up to 30, I believe is where I usually would cap it. Now, as far as our souls, that won't be enough to get us to a next level. We need this. We don't need that. I'm going to hold on to it, though. I do need that. I want that very badly. We need this. We need that. We need that. And... What does the rotten give us? I don't remember. I do not remember. I have a lot of dragon bones, though. Alright then. So, do I have? I do have them. Let's head over to a new place. With new things and stuff. Let's rest at the bonfire. Because our durability is just bad. And that's, you know, a good thing to do to fix that. You know, I just realized no bonfire runs are going to kind of suck now due to the fact that the whole 60 FPS bug is a thing with durability. It's going to make them a little bit more tedious in terms of how often you need to actually visit a blacksmith. It's not the worst thing ever, but it still seems like it would be mildly annoying. <laughs> Hello, Benhart. I haven't quite determined if I want to kill him or anything yet. Take that, Lloyd's. Really? Alright, let's free her. Let's make things happen. Easy enough. A battle axe. Wonderful, now I don't need to buy one. And no drop from that. That's fine. You can light this. And I hope that they left this. That would be nice if they did. Open. Hey, they actually left an Estus Flask shard in place. What was it, that random R2 attack? That makes no sense. Was there anything in any of these? Nothing in that one. Oh, you're new here. Aw, I just barely missed it. That's a shame.
Try a two-handing and then try a plunging attack. Interesting. I don't see exactly what the point of that is. And behind door number four. Still nothing new. But no, no, no. Let's close the door this way. Now we can be on our way. To venture forth and see what the world has in store for us that's been changed. That instant shading change of everything. How strange. That was a tad bit unexpected. I don't have enough stamina for this. You rock-throwing jerk. I am not a fan of you and your shenanigans. I will gladly take that lock stone, though. And up here. How did you live? That doesn't make much sense. Oh, they didn't throw another one in here like they usually do. Okay, fine by me. Let's hit the bonfire. Oh, now it's fun time. We get to go through the shaded, spooky woods. Oh boy. Well, let's make a run for it. We need a hug of this side. We need to make sure we find Vengarl's head. Blah, 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 blah. I've got one of those. I don't have one of those. I will buy it. Alright, we're going to just keep moving, because these jerks hiding in the fog, I'm not a fan of. That's the way out. We don't want out, we want to get to that chest. I know you're coming for me. I hope you're the only one coming for me. They are very mean. Alright, now we can get out of here. Uh-oh. Aha, there it is. There's the path out. We are safe from the invisible jerks.
No, no, not not warp. We don't want to go anywhere. This is this is precisely where we want to be. Um. Hi, friend. You're an unpleasant fellow. Do you respawn? For my sake, I hope not. Okay, well. I think that we actually are just going to call things here for this episode, guys. We'll pick up here next time, take care of the area, and see what it has in store for us. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will catch you all in the next one.